Hello everybody and welcome back to Stewing Through 3 Plays The Darkest Dungeon. I am Stewing Through 3 and hi everybody. So, ironically, the day after I had said that uh, I try to make it my goal to do a Darkest Dungeon and a, uh, a Gungeon video every day, I uh, didn't have enough time to do my uh, Gungeon video for the day. So, hi! How's it going, everybody? Uh, my bad. I just, time got away from me yesterday while I was working on some stuff for uh, the game, my game company, and, uh, you know, it's just, it was the damnedest thing. It was the damnedest thing. Um, we're gonna try to make some portraits here. Um, I need what? Oh, I gotta be careful. I don't want to get rid of too many portraits. There we go. Because I want to get the furnace. Um, I'm realizing that this is gonna be important, so that way we can actually, like, gear up everybody. Like, like I would really like to gear them up. Actually, I can gear you up. Let's gear up the arbalist. That's a good idea. It feels like a good idea, so we're gonna do it. Uh, everyone else is, like, level zero or already upgraded, so I'm not too too concerned about them um but let's uh let's take a look at the missions today and see what we might want to do uh we got the grave robber satchel what do we got unmovable helmet a medium veteran mission which we're going to avoid like the plague we only have one level three character and i'm uncomfortable sending level twos and stuff into those right now mostly because i've never actually been in a medium mission before i've been in a medium length mission but not a medium like a veteran level mission Explore 100% of rooms, 100% of rooms, 100% of rooms, 100% of rooms, 100% of rooms. Okie dokie. Three corrupted altars. Stun amulet. This is important because I know that when we try to fight the swine king, we're going to need something like this. So maybe we'll try to do this today. Um, now the question becomes, who are we sending out on this possible suicide mission? We're going into the ruins, which means that some blights would be good. Um, we can send the abomination in. Which might not be a bad idea. Let's do it an abomination. Definitely going to send Hovel in. Hovel prefers to be in this position. Uh, let's send Bordekin in. And then I would like a healer type character if at all possible. Because Hovel doesn't know battlefield medicine. You can heal yourself, can't you? Yeah, you can. But it makes him move back. So let's also take... Is that Abyssal Artillery? Let's take Asseline with us as well. Mm. Alright, first of all, let's unequip all trinkets. Perfect. Okay, now, what do we have? Um, odd, tentacle, odd Tentacle Standard, 4th of July update. Minus 75% stressed. When a stressed is above 100%, that's not useful. Uh, let's start with our tank. So our tank can take both of the fucking protective padlocks. But let's give him the Maester's Hat and one of these padlocks I think is good. And then for our grave robber, let's give her let's give her the dodge stone, which is good. And then how about let's give her the quick draw one. That'll compensate on the first round, and then it'll just slow her down a little bit after that. She's already slower, but it'll put her down to four. She's pretty fast. As is, so I don't think that that's too big of a problem here. Um, and then let's give you... Let's give you a speed stone. I would like it if he could go often. And then for you, we're going to obviously give you the the one occultist item we have. I don't really want to give him minus 10% HP. That doesn't sound good. Let's give him the one that increases the amount of healing he does. Okay. Uh, I don't know if this team's going to work. We, we have a pretty decent chunk of damage. We have a pretty decent chunk of healing as well. Would it be better to take the bounty hunter with us? It might be better to take the bounty hunter with us. Do you have uh, something that gets rid of corpses? No, he does not. Neither does he or she. He does. All right. So we, I guess we're, we're good on that front. As long as it's not like the front person's corpse that we need to clear. Let's do this. I don't know if this is a good idea or how this is going to work, but we're going to take a lot of extra food with us today. Uh, 26 food seems good. We're going to take three shovels, two keys, or three keys, I guess. And let's do, like, 15 torches. And then for the ruins, you need holy water is important. And I, I think that we also need... I think caustic solution is good in the ruins. I can't remember. 
let's take two of each of these and then we'll that's what we'll roll with um the holy water is used to purge a lot of like the demony type let's take four shovels i i feel more comfortable with four shovels that also leaves us with five grand which is actually enough for us to like if we feel like it it's enough for us to uh, uh just a second i need to disconnect myself from my discord call sorry about that um it's enough where i i feel a little bit more comfortable getting rid of that so i know that the corrupted altar pops up as a curio and it could be in a hallway so we need to check every single curio that we see um because that's what's going to that's our mission is to touch these altars uh so let's do thrown dagger on the dead eye bone arbalist let's try to get rid of him real quick here um which hopefully won't be too hard here uh a plague grenade gives him four blight and has a chance to do like one damage so let's do that and hopefully we'll just let him die oh that's that's bad all right we'll do absolution right off the bat i guess that's bad because i didn't know that those two abilities couldn't be done from the front that's that's on me that's on me that that's bad that's worse because that guy's gonna come back to life now as something else and the something else is gonna is is a more dangerous prospect than something that i know right now um yeah, that's my bad. I uh, I did not know that this abomination was gonna be an asshole, but hopefully we can just blight the shit out of this guy in the back here. Shadow fades, not great. Yeah, this isn't great. Um, I guess we have to shadow fade. So let's shadow fade this guy. The problem here is that so when he transforms, it'll be okay because uh, it'll like the transformed version has a bunch of melee attacks. Um. But the thing is that I don't want him to transform very often. And you're seeing the problem here, right? Is that he basically just can't do anything from that position. We'll have to sit down and do see if we can do some like rearranging. See if there's other positions we could possibly get people put into. That maybe will be more conducive for us succeeding here. Shadow Fate obviously is the only thing she can do. Um, I don't want to make him pass, so we're just going to do Absolution again, I guess. The stress healing's nice. I'm not going to poo-poo that. Uh, let's go ahead and Blight you. And we'll see if we can get rid of the Rabble real fast here. Um, the Rabble's going to die next turn, so it'll do this bump in the night, and then we will we can just ignore it. We can ignore it now, so it's going to die. Um, we'll Shadow Fade again. This, like, clockwork of doing Shadow Fade over and over again is not... We're going to have to figure out a different order for these people. Because he needs to be in the second position so he can do literally anything. Um, which I'm not happy about. Obviously. But luckily Hovel's good. He's just blighting the shit out of people. Just, you know, doing the Hovel things. I like Hovel. He can stay forever. Uh, that dodge is good. That's the dodge stone coming into play. Coming in big. Coming in big. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do. I'll figure out something, because I know he needs to stay in the back as well. We might try to do weird reconstruction here on you. Yeah, that's good. Uh, the 12 is good. And no bleed? Hell yeah. He's just done again, so fuck it. Who cares? YOLO, right? Fucking blight. And now this guy's dead as hell. Good. Alright, then we'll just vulnerability hex, so that way I don't accidentally bleed somebody. And then we'll shadow fade. Not that it matters. We're going to have to figure out a different order for these people. Then we'll Absolution again, because why not? And he's dead. There you go. 12 damage. Because why not? Okay. Uh, real quick. Where can, where do you need to be to do your shit? You, like, have to be... So I can put him... I can put him in the front, I guess. No, that's not good. Flashing Daggers is the back three positions. Shadow Fades front two. So let's switch these two. Let's switch this around like this. This feels weird. But, like, he can do incision and stuff. Ah, oh, that's bad. That's not good. You can do everything except for Abyssal Artillery from anywhere. So let's switch you around like that. Switch you around like that. Because you have to be in the middle two positions to do anything, right? Um... And you prefer to be in the back three positions because it lets you do all of your abilities. And you prefer the middle, th the back three positions. Th 
I fucked this up real bad. You know what? This is what we're gonna have to roll with. This feels stupid, and this feels bad, but this is what we're gonna have to do right now. Um, like, I really don't like doing- I don't like the idea of doing this, but we're doing it. Um, touch it. Okay, I mean, that's fair. We're gonna just go in, and then we're gonna double back, because I know that there's nothing in this back room over here. Um... And then we'll uh, we'll double around this way because we got to touch all the curios. Every curio is just as likely to be what we're looking for as anything else. And honestly, because I fucked this up, the sooner we get out of here, the better. Um, luckily, he can use weird construction from any position, and he can also use vulnerability hex. And he's got sacrificial stab, which we can use, which also doesn't give stress. It sucks because I can't hit the back two positions at once like I like to, but you know, honestly, it's not that big of a deal. Um, well, it is. It's stupid, and, I, and I'm upset that I did it. Um, because I, I would have just brought the bounty hunter instead, and we would have been fucking great. But, um, I, I want to get rid of her real bad. So we're going to blight her, I guess. And then we'll do sack stab. It seems like a, not a bad idea here. Um, yeah, let's do sack stab here. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. And he spoke some weird crazy guy language uh let's chain you the chain stuns people i know that much uh and then beast bile biles them it like gives them blight uh which is good it's good it's a good thing let's blight you well we we'll just work backward from where we started uh how much damage do you do you do six to ten jesus christ fuck all right yeah just fucking lord that's a lot of damage we also brought lots of blights so I'm not too, too concerned. And again, we have good healing. Really, really good healing. Um, so I'm not too concerned. And again, we can absolution out of here if we need to. Um, like every time, essentially, we can do that. Yeah, you get fucking wrecked. You bleed and blight. Get out of here. Fucking dying of fire. Friend, for the old gods, don't get knocked back. That'd be nice. Oh, that sucks. You know, it's not that bad, actually. Because he's dead. Oh, no! Well, he's dead. Regardless. Um, I probably could have absolution to there. To just get a little bit of healing. Oh, fucking lord. Okay. Um, you were there. You're back here. Swap, 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 swap. There we go. Okay, that's... That's our dumb positioning, I guess, is what we're going to go with here. Let's do this. Cut a knight. Cut this out. We got two short poems, which will consume on you and then consume on you. Get a little bit of stress relief. Bleeding is only half the problem, but a good start. That clears bleed, and then I think also gives you a little bit of protection against bleeding. Oh, I wish it would stop doing that. Um, it, like, automatically tracks it all the way up, because that's, like, where the majority of this thing is. Let's touch this. Spoils of the tortured. And uh, we have some onyx, which... Torch, torch. May we find Let's get rid of that, actually. It feels... I know that that feels like a bad idea, but honestly, like, the gold's really important uh, in general. Uh, we can smash this with a shovel, or we can just lock, open it with a lock. There we go. Let's just do that. There's treasure stashed inside. Probably leave the jade behind, to be honest. Um, it's just not worth giving up my other items for. I probably could have used the knife for the locked cabinet instead. That would have helped the whole situation out pretty good. Um, this is kind of a shitty, shitty fight. Um, let's do... Let's do this. That way we can blight and hopefully kill her on one turn with plague grenade. Maybe that'll be good. Yeah, she's dead, so fucking YOLO, right? Beast Bile's good. Do that. People are texting me and bothering me. Although, you know, in fairness, actually, this time I'm actually, like, working at, like, a weird hour. Because uh, today was a very busy day for me. And um, I didn't get a chance to do my recordings at, like, 3 in the afternoon like I normally do. Well, actually, I do them at, like, 1. And I work until, like, 4 or 5 in the afternoon doing this stuff. Um, but I didn't get a chance to do that today because reasons. 
because reasons. Probably gonna need to go for a weird reconstruction here. Um, because I don't think the sack stab's gonna be as important as not making sure our abomination doesn't die. Um, so we'll blight these two assholes again. And then we'll fucking flashing dagger these two assholes. And then that guy's dead now. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Circumcision knife is working out. Uh, and let's do weird reconstruction on you, fucker. Okay, that's fine. Um, missing the heal's bad, but, you know, honestly, it's not not the end of the world. Well, it's a rapidly approaching that it may actually be the end of the world here. Um, although I think they're all dead. So let's do this. Just stun that guy, I guess. I want to heal our abomination if I can before all of them die from their various ailments. Oh, I guess that guy's not going to die. But, um, I want to heal him before, uh, yeah, but well, before they all die. Because he's going to die next turn now. Uh, so we'll just swap you two around here. We'll use Absolution to heal you a little bit. The two healing's, like, shitty, but, you know, honestly, I've seen worse. Ten healing's really good. And he resisted the bleed. That's real good. I'm gonna blast you. Good. Awesome. Swap you two around. Remind yourself then swap you two around. Slow, then have the grave robber time. open this up with the knife. Good. Got a little gold. Uh, I did that literally to clear the inventory space and for no other reason. Um, the knife's not better than using a key. The key actually gives you more loot, if I'm not mistaken. But um, it felt I needed to clear this space. Uh, the caustic solutions are not helpful uh, so far, but um, I'm going to have to remember that. I got, like, a cheat sheet around here somewhere. I just don't know where it is because I didn't, like... I, like, sat down and was like, I forgot to do my recordings for today. So you guys are getting Double Darkest Dungeon, like, specifically because I forgot. Um, but, you know, it's fine. You guys are fine. Well, you know, maybe not. Some of you guys, this might be the only form of entertainment you guys have. But, that being said, you know, I, I do apologize. But, I, I mean, honestly, in the relative scheme of things, like, I do, I promise, my actual hard promise, like, week to week, is that you will receive seven videos a week from me. Uh, one video a day, minimum. And uh, I've already hit that for this week. Um, not that it's, like, I'm, like, counting the videos like i hate doing this so much but it's one of those like i'm sorry but you know it's a lot of content week to week uh let's do sack stab on you ah oh, fuck i was hoping that would kill him uh and then we'll do beast bile here that should kill this guy he should be dead yeah there you go uh and this guy should follow suit shortly after this team's actually very good uh well actually i would replace the abomination with literally anyone else probably the bounty hunter would have been better um because then we could have uh a fucking team blight and stuff over here with the bounty hunter sitting in the front line punching people and using his chains to rearrange the battlefield and all that which honestly would be ideal um all right, we're gonna have to do weird reconstruction of the abomination again um just because he's getting a little low we'll do blights I'm probably gonna chain. I probably should have chained that guy, but you know, it's it's fine. Twelve healing's great. That's it. I was like, that should put him almost to full again. Uh, and then we'll start the blight stack on this dude because he's he needs to die, but he's got high protection. So whatever, whatever. That guy's dead as hell. Next turn, he's dead as hell. Yeah, that guy's dead as shit. Actually, shit ass. Uh, not great. That stun's bad, and moving our plague doctor forward is also bad, but. I think the Plague Doctor could still do... Yeah, it's like, he could still do Noxious Blast from there, so... All things considered, it's not that bad. Weird Reconstruction yourself for 14! And Healing Charms really... I don't know if the Healing Charms actually, like... I, that heal's already really good. I don't know if that Healing Charm's, like, actually being helpful, but we're definitely getting some, like, big-ass heals coming out of this, uh... Occultist right now. Big-ass heals. Uh, we'll do this blight this guy just keep blighting him let's keep blighting blight your cares away let's keep blighting we need to do one damage hey look at that that guy's dead now so we can reconstruction on let's do it on you there we go 13 healing jesus christ the heal's so good what's the potential heal on this thing 
Zero to twelve plus fifteen percent. It's pretty good. Um, let's have you touch this, and then we'll put the holy water on it. I think is what we do. No, just touch it then. Positive quirk. Ruins adventurer is actually really good. Uh, let's have you drink this as well. Cure that that there uh, thingy. Got a little bit. It's got some stress problems with him now, but honestly, not that big of a deal. Uh, that's a sack. Open that up. The sack's contents are yours. Yes. Uh, this, we caustic solution this, but apparently we're not going to do that because she's going to just catch a disease. Acute hypertension, uh, which actually gives her death blow resistance. No, minus 100% death blow resistance. So she's actually, it's more likely that she will die now. Uh, not great. Not great. I mean, fine, but not great. Uh, I would have rather have used the... the caustic solution on it and uh gotten the potion of man hatred or whatever um because i think that that's what that's called uh, i probably shouldn't have spammed so many torches I'd probably stand to be a little bit darker to be honest because we don't have anything that like needs to be up above 75 percent um other than like you know let's get rid of you we really need to get rid of this born courtier so we're gonna try to blight him to death right here Bladed to death. Fantastic. Actually super good. This quick bone rabble will fucking die in a fire for all I care. Yeah, I think bringing the bringing Blight team into the ruins is like always a good idea. Because like if you're killing them with Blights and that's it, um, they don't leave a corpse. Which means that it's a lot more likely that you'll be fine in the long run. We're going to definitely try to Blight this guy then. Because um, he's now down to one. Although maybe we'll just kill these two and then kill him. Because the Bone Rabble is actually not that big of a deal. His attack does, like, fucking no damage. And then, um, he is also weak as balls. So, you know, whatever. Uh, let's, let's do this. I probably should have stunned him, actually, now I'm thinking about it. Um, but it looks like it's going to be fine. Yeah, it's fine. He's dead. All right, good. And then we'll Beast Bile to get the stack on this guy. Six damage going in on him this turn is real good. Stab him. Good, he's dead. Okay, that guy's dead now. Bump of the Knight's not bad. Like I said, the, this, the Bone Rabble never fucking... It either doesn't hit, or when it hits, it does like two damage. Three damage. I'm sorry. My bad. Off by one. I'm gonna call that a rounding error. And another uh, Cultist Wand, actually, is real good. Um, Got a couple of good trinkets here. Well, the Blight Charm's not great, but it is worth money, so... This guy's dodge is up to fucking 18, though. What is this? Corrupt altar. Oh, I gotta do this thing. Right! There we go. Um, that's not bad. We still have our camp left, but I don't feel the need to use it at all. I... I think if I do this, we fight a shambler, and I'm not comfortable doing that with this team. This team's not bad, but I think it's only not bad against Ruins enemies, because the Ruin enemies have, like, real bad problems with Blight. Um, Blight and AoE are, like, their fucking nightmare. Right, that guy's dead now. Yeah, you dead. You dead. One team does so much damage. And it's, like, weird damage, too. Like, damage you wouldn't expect. It's chain that guy. Stun? Yes. That guy's dead. Die. There you go. Probably should have healed. Oh, I was hoping to just clear it. Like, just clear it instantly. But, you know, that's fine. It took two turns. Big fucking deal. Um, let's eat a little bit. Because I think I might have over-prepped on food. Just a, just a hair. Um, Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, let's dump this for the herb. Because I feel like the herb's going to get us more... It's going to get us more money than the charm is worth. If that makes sense, dump that there. Perfect. Got some scouting. Tons of curios. We gotta check everywhere. Um, I don't want to check everywhere because, frankly, I would like to leave this place and never return. But you know, we'll, we'll check everywhere. But this arm's great. The stress relief is why I had the abomination do it. Not that everybody really needs it at this point, to be honest. But um, still worth doing. Treasure stash in the cabinet. That is a bleed pendant for the Hellion. Um, 
let's dump this. We I know we have blight charms already. I think we have two. Um, they're not very good. I'm basically keeping them so that I can sell them for money later uh, in the event that we end up in trouble. I want to I want to do that shambler fight because I'm a masochist. Um, but at the same time, like I just I feel I feel in my heart of hearts that that's a bad decision. So like I'm reluctant to do it. Uh, let's flash and dagger you. There we go. Seven damage is good. Eleven. We need to make him dead now. Prematory gaze. Premeditary gaze. Premeditary gaze. Yeah, I think that's the right term. All right, that guy's dead now. Um, let's give frail bone rabble. Probably just gonna ignore him to be honest. Let's blight these guys because he's still gonna come back. Um. And honestly, if I can get rid of the rabble for free while I'm doing it, like, that's not so bad. That's bad, but not as bad as it could be, actually. Um, a horrific bone defender. Uh, that's gonna have to go away. Gonna have to go away post haste. Yeah, I think, okay, so they're both dead. You're not quite dead, but... Um, let's do this on you. So that way, well, I guess I'm using blights, so it doesn't make sense to do that. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. Because that, like, gets rid of his protections, right? Like, that's what that ability does? I think that's what that ability does. Is it, like, lowers protection? I guess, you know, it, res it lowers his blight resistance at all, then it's totally worth it. That guy's dead next turn. Bump of the Night's, like, a garbage ability for garbage people. Five's actually highest I've ever seen that thing hit. But this a guy's axe blade ability hits harder. Yeah, like, it, the fucking defender guy's... Way deadlier. Uh, definitely gonna need to do a heal here. Stack more blight. Right, this guy's now dead, so stack more blight. <laughs> Just keep stacking it, I guess, until we can get around to you, so you can weird reconstruction yourself. For four, it's not great, but yeah, whatever. Chain you. Not that we need to. Like they're dead. They're just they. They're dead. They just don't know it yet. Sixteen damage. So much blight. This is a good team also to take into the Warrens. Or uh, to the like the amalgamation of flesh boss or whatever the hell that thing's called. Oh, please don't touch it. I salvaged an unburned torch. Never mind. It's fine. I'm glad you touched it. Just in the future, let me just, you know... Let me just do it, like, the other way. Uh, we got a trap coming up. We're just gonna let the, um... I don't think it's worth the time to try to, like... Give the fucking... This guy, yeah, stress healing, it just isn't worth it. Um, not that stress has been a big problem for us, because we've actually just been, like, wiping out everything that could possibly do us harm, like, really fast. If we end this in dungeon with both of these campfires, by the way, um, I might, I might try to go do this, the fucking Shambler fight. It feels like a really bad idea, but that feels like that might be a reason to go do it. Unless we end up with a ton of money. If we end up with a ton of money, I might... Ow. Okay, well, I asked for that. Um... Such missteps are the exception, and not the rule. I will do this. Get a little, get a couple... Get an extra torch. Good. Torch, torch, torch. Torch. Awarded to the brave. I just want to stay, like, here-ish, right? At, like, 70... Between 70 and 60. So that way we can get surprises. That's... The surprises are really helpful because they let us go. They, they guarantee that we're going to go first. Um, let's let me do stuff like this where we're just going to like blight the hell out of this guy back here. And he's going to fucking die. Die like a little broke back baby back bitch. Blight forever. And then we will. Let's stab you. Eh, that's good. You're going to take a shit ton of damage. This guy's not quite dead, which blows. I should have healed him. That's a mistake. That was a mistake. My bad. I mean, it's looking like it might be okay, but there's also a chance it's not going to be okay. Oh, no, we're fine. Because even if this guy hits my um, my occultist, it's not going to matter. Uh, but he dodged it anyway. Thumbs up, occultist. Good work, buddy. Hopefully my occultist is pretty fast. I, I think he should be. Oh, that guy died. That guy died. Um, I guess we got actually kind of lucky right there, because that could have gone... Real bad. Uh, let's read reconstruction yourself. Oh, the crit! So good! The crit healing is so good. Keeping our um, our light low for the crits actually might not be 
Too terrible of an idea. Let's stun you. Ah, oh, that's a miss. That blows. Let's blight you. 11 damage. Ah, he's dead. Sweet. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad, boy, Junior. I tell you that much for free. Who? Oh. Get you good. It's my bear. It'll get you drunk. We could just wipe this guy out, but I'm going to take this opportunity to cheese out a heal for a couple people if we can. Um, I'm hoping that our cultist will roll a little bit better, but, you know, it's actually fine. Um, at least promises success. Let's dump off the caustic solutions and take this thing. I don't know what this does, um, but I think it might give extra bleed chance or something. Uh, we know that there's no curio in that room, so we're not going to bother going there, is my thought. Um, because again, the, the the thing is always a curio interaction. We only have one left. Um, to be honest, I, uh, this is the first time I've done a dungeon like this, where, like, we actually had to do a thing like this. Like, normally when we do dungeons, uh, oh, do we have holy water still? No, we don't. Touch it. Eh, that's not bad. Uh, it actually might be worth... Oh, don't touch the thing! Okay, uh, that's good. We don't have any torches, so actually I'm just realizing we can't actually go do the Shambler fight, because you, you have to hit it with a torch to do the Shambler fight, if I'm not mistaken. Again, I've only ever... Actually, I, think I don't think I've ever done the Shambler fight, because I refused... Like, the first time I played through this game, I, like, overtly refused to ever touch the Shambler altar for... What I'm imagining is good reason. Um, let's go ahead and hit you. That nine's great. Because uh, then we can do a double blight in the back there. And she should be dead now. Well, she'll be dead soon. Um, let's stack stab sack stab you. Sack stab does a lot of damage, by the way. It's like, this is the shittiest place for him to be. But um, it's like real good. The stress is pretty bad. We're going to have to camp like after this room's done. Uh, a, because we're running out of food, so we're running out of opportunity to camp. But B, because the stress is a little, getting a little nuts. Just a little bit. Right, she's dead now. Oh, yeah, she's dead as hell. We'll blight again to get just to get the stack on the Spearman going. Um, and then we just need to start hitting him. If we can. Run for the old gods. Not so bad. Does a little bit of damage. The bleed's bad, though. Uh, just because it also can stack up when our occultist uh, eventually heals this guy. Like, right now. Uh, the occultist's bleed is way worse than the bleed from his uh, Ren for the Old Gods, though. The tide turns. That's bad, and it sucks because, like, our maester hat just isn't helping at all. Uh, let's stab you. Let's get, throw a dagger at you. He's dead. That guy's going to die next turn. We just have the cultist to deal with. Um, that guy's dead as hell. Uh, let's start stacking some some stuff up on you. Okay, that guy's dead now. This guy's gonna be dead. It's gonna be dead. Hopefully, uh, there's no bleed there. Yeah, I want to get another heal off on him before we... Uh, I guess we'll do Absolution. Is also good. The, heal, the small heal's good. The stress healing's a little bit better, to be honest. Uh, they'll heal you. Ah, oh, that 10's great. Then, oh, well, the bleed's bad. Uh, let's bite you. And then he should be dead now. Good, go away. Absolution again, just because we can, essentially. Again, the small amount of healing it does every turn is good. Um, being able to do that's also really good. Uh, let's heal him again, just because he's got a little bit more HP, and he's taking a lot of hits for us. Fabulous. Fabulous. Let's open this. Take these things, good, and then let's camp here. Good. All right. I feel like they're actually doing okay. Let's only do three, um, just because that way we have enough for um, we have enough for. Uh, God, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, brain. Find the words you're looking for. Uh, a hunger tile. There we go. That's that's what I was looking for. Um, let's do this on, on you. 
Good. Uh, got rid of hypertension. Uh, and we'll encourage. And then you'll encourage. We don't have any means of getting rid of, uh, of stopping the nighttime ambush, I don't think. We can heal. Heal for 50% and increase healing received. That's actually pretty good. Um, let's do that on you. Um, and then we'll do an encourage on you. Good. And we're out of time. Okay, hopefully there's no ambush. Not that it would be that bad, because honestly getting shuffled around is like not the worst thing in the universe for us. Yeah, mostly because like we're already kind of like in dumb positions. <laughs> um, although we're now back in like the same level of dumb position we were in before, where these two are just going to go back and forth with the healing and the stunning and the other shit. Um, let's do this on the prophetic bone arbalist. That's bad, but um, less bad than you think it is. Prematory gaze. It's kind of shit. Uh, we're going to transform. That stresses everybody else out, but um, honestly, I think it's important just because, like, we need to get rid of this guy. There we go. When we transform back, it should also make it so everyone else gets a little bit of stress relief, and then we're just going to have to hard focus on the, uh, the occultist next round. Um... But if I'm not mistaken, every turn that we spend transformed is bad, because I think it increases his stress over time, which blows. Uh, let's do weird reconstruction on you. Ah, that's bad. She's missing a fair amount of HP now, because largely due to the fact that she, um, she got rid of uh, stressful hypertension or whatever. Oh, that's bad. The stress on our occultist is getting a little nuts. Uh, which I'm not happy about, but um, honestly, I think it's fine. Do that. Bump of the night's bad, but not that bad. Okay, good. Well, not good, but you know we're alive, so that's go. We got that going for us. All right. Let's do weird reconstruction on you. Six is good. You know, even if it, even if the the healing done is only increased by one every time, like I still feel like it's good. All right, let's go back here, and that way we can start blighting. We can blight this guy with her. Uh, the stun's good too, for different reasons. Let's transform. Let's transform back to get stress relief on everybody. Just a little itty bitty bit. And we'll do this to get stress relief on you. Um, we're probably gonna have to just camp again and do more stress relieving, I guess. But that also feels like a terrible idea, largely due to the fact that like it doesn't—it's not actually like a useful thing to be doing because we don't have any food to like do the camp. So actually, I think it will be harmful um, if we camp again, which isn't good. So we don't want to do that. So we're not gonna do it. That's what's gonna happen here. That's not great, because that's going to make it so he can't do anything. Oh, but he didn't get knocked back. Thank God. Uh, and then we'll chain you. Good. That guy's going to get back up. As another bone rabble. Not that big of a deal. I think this guy's dead, so we don't have to worry about him anymore. So let's just start blighting you. Blight, 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 blight. Uh, let's heal you. Oh, that heals good. Heals so good. Oh! Eradicated. Get out of here. Uh, chain. <laughs> and then he's dead. Probably would have been worth it to use Absolution, to be honest. But... As the light gains purchase, full full disclosure, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Is made clear. I'm almost positive, by the way, that... Um, we're going to get in like a heap of trouble here. That's actually perfect. Um, because like the stress is just too high. Just too high, man. But there's nothing. I can't do anything about it at this point. Now it must be carried home. Oh, that's good. Easy one to kill. Let's do this. That's a little bit of a little bit of spread damage. Let's stab you. Oh, uh, these maggots have protection. What the fuck? Since when is that a thing? Um. 
Let's blight you, I guess. That should do... Oh, he resisted the blight. That's not great. Do this. They dodged one. That spider's dead now, though. Or, no, I guess he isn't. Because the actually doing the thing didn't do anything. Uh, that's bad. We have the anti-venom, though, so if they get blighted, it's not that big of a deal. The grave nibbles do cause stress, though, which is bad. Oh, that's real bad. Oh, thank God. Uh, let's blight you. Okay, that guy's dead now. Yes, that guy is dead now. Let's do you. Bleed? No. Let's do you. Awesome. All right, then the rest of them are dead. Um, so we'll do absolution. Get a little bit of stress relief here. Cool. Hilariously, everybody seems to be fine now, actually, so I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. This has been a stressful mission. I'm, I'm glad we're not having a repeat of yesterday's episode where fucking everything just exploded all over the place forever. Um, all right, what do I want to do here? Let's go hard on you. Then we'll do that. We'll blight. Good. Ah, oh, she resists the blight. That's not good, though. Um... Which is weird, because she got, like, no Blight resistance. Eldritch motivation's not great. I was really hoping she would be dead, or mostly dead, before she got the ability to do that. But, honestly, I think it's fine. That's not great. And then we'll do Beast Bile. We'll just Blight, the Blight Machine. That's what we are today. Um, I want to deal a little bit more damage to this guy back here, if we can. Um, just because he does a lot of damage. That's a good dodge. Happy about that. Play grenade again. Good. That guy got blighted. Uh, let's do sack stab on you. Oh, so good. So good. The unquenchable fire of the stars. Not great. But low damage, so fine, actually. And for the old gods, it's bad. But we can heal him on the next turn if we feel like it. Um... I feel like we're actually doing, like, a really, really good job with this team comp. The team comp's weird, and the positions are weird, and they're not at all what I would be normally doing. Ah, that was stupid. I, um, I meant to do Flashing Dagger to just weaken him a little bit. But, uh, don't get stressed. Stop it. We don't have any ability to, real, to deal with that, really. I think that guy's dead, so we're just not going to worry about him. Blight you. Um, Absolution's great here, because it'll heal him, which is good. Get everybody back in their rightful positions here. Blight you. We're just going to get rid of the damage dealers, because this Bone Rabble's dead to the Blight that it already has. Axe Blade's bad. We're starting to get a little low on the, um, on the A-bomb, which isn't great. Don't hit my Occultist. Okay, actually, fine. The Abomination's, like, a really good character. I just... I'm struggling to find, like, a good place to use him really often. Because transforming... His transformed mode is better than his human mode in most cases. Um, I guess, actually, right here, the, the Blighting's actually, like, much better than doing it the other way. Um, just because the... Like, the uh, monster mode, it's, like, rake ability is its best ability. Rage is good, too, but you know what I mean. Like, it's it's one of those moments where, oh, my God, it's a huge crit. And it was a big stress relief. Hell, yeah. Well, not a big stress relief, but it was a stress relief, which is big. Blight the hell out of this guy. He's going to be blighted to hell. Get blighted, son. Doing 12 damage a turn to people, essentially for free, is, like, kind of fucking crazy. Because we're also, like, hurting them while we're doing it. So, like, it's hard to... It's hard to be like, oh, we're not doing a good job. Like, oh, bullshit. We're doing a fine job. Uh, let's do... Why don't you just touch it? A map is found. Oh, there's our curio. Thank God. Looks like there's nothing in this next room. Oh, that's a trap. That's bad. Ambushed by invention. You know what? We're going to keep... We're going to hold on to um, the rest of our food. Just in case we hit a hunger tile on our way to the next room. Um... Because that would suck pretty bad, to be honest. Uh, let's do this. Ooh. Nice. That crit's great. Uh, let's do this. That's a good crit. Another good crit. 
More good crits, please. I want to use the Abominations Transform, but uh, at the same time, to be honest, I feel like it's a terrible idea because I'm pretty sure it'll put our Occultist over the edge, which I'm not on about. Not on about at all. Dead weight's bad, but we can Shadow Fade back if we need to. Um, well, correction, we can Shadow Fade back when it's our turn. And we will do so. Blights, blights, blights. Uh, let's do weird reconstruction on you. Nine healing's great on you. The resist is great. Feeling really good right now, actually. Again, this team's weird, and, like, the positioning's weird, but I feel like it's actually, like, on an odd level, it is working. So I feel like that's okay, then. You know? Like, if it looks dumb, but it works, it isn't dumb. That kind of thing. You know? Uh, and we slew the abomination that haunteth the ruins. We got an achievement. Blight. Get blighted, son. Got blight for you. Blight for days. I think that guy's dead now, actually. No, nope, not quite. He's now dead because Beast Bile's going to blight that guy, right? Yep, yeah, he blighted. Get blighted, son. So good. The, the blighting in the ruins is so strong. Because, like, so the all the Skelemans don't have resistance to it, right? And then when they die to the Blight, they don't leave a corpse. And it's just it's just such a strong choice to bring Blight people into here. Um, and then, like, doing the Blight people in conjunction with having fucking big-ass weird reconstruction man here is fucking great. I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying this combination of characters, like, a lot. Um... You know, there, I can see, I can see the flaws in it. Like, I probably would replace the abomination with like, um, I don't know. I'd probably replace the abomination with like a bounty hunter or something. But um, honestly, I, it, it is working. It's a weird positioning thing, right? I probably would just replace some of the um, occultist's abilities. Uh, probably put more of the hexes on. That would work as well. Um, just fucking stealing a little bit of, um, I don't want to keep this key, I don't think. Let's use this herb. Let me keep taking the key. There we go. Um, I only took the key because we had an easy means of taking the key. That's the only reason we took it. Ow, can't stop to float. Oh, man. Fucking knew it. Hunger tile. What up? What up, hater? I brought the fucking shovels, bitch. What up? Can't stop me. On a goddamn roll. Terrors may indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. Hey, look at that. And we're good. I feel like, uh, I feel like using the campfire is actually going to hurt us in this situation. So I think we're going to just return to the hamlet. I'm fucking making out like a goddamn bandit right now. Freaking, I think we're walking out with like an extra 6k or something like that. 7k? 8? 9? 10k? Holy crap. That's a lot of money. Ah, uh, our money troubles are a thing of the past. We're rich. We're rich. Thanophobia's bad. Um, what? Well, not that bad, actually. Uh, because you just gotta keep her HP up. Stress in the ruins is bad, but Night Owl's good. Soul Reflexes is meh. It's, it's meh because it's on the, on the Abomination. If that was on, like, anyone else, like, it would be kind of bad, but, eh, it's whatever. Um, party buff, resolve XP in the ruins, plus 15% damage in the ruins. I guess that's going to be a good opportunity for us to take some of our level zero, our four remaining level zero characters into the ruins, which actually is not a half bad team. Uh, Antiquarian's garbage, but, you know, it, it, we got a, not a half bad team here. Yeah, actually, I think for that other team comp, I think having uh, Weird Reconstruction, Sack Knife, Hands from the Abyss, and Vulnerability Hex... Yeah, this one, this one. I think Vulnerability Hex is better than Weakening Curse. Weakening Curse is better, I think, actually. Yeah, I think Weakening Curse is better. Because um, this just reduces dodge. Yeah, I think that Weakening Curse is better then, because it decreases damage. Um, yeah, but I think I think, uh, I think we'll do we'll do some cheeky shit in the next episode. Uh, but for right now, let's dump some people into some places to get some stress healing. Uh, we'll put Scoblin in the bar, because he has to drink. There you go, Scoblin. Goodbye. Um, I think that's all the stress that we really need to recover here. Uh, ooh, actually, 
Yeah, that's a fair. That's fair. Let's put. Let's give you some some hot gambling action. Uh, Hovel, let's put you into the cloister. You can meditate. And Bordeque, let's put you in the penance hall. Luckily, we have tons of money right now, so I feel actually okay with doing that. Um, let's also take a minute to look at here. Eldritch Killing Incense. Ooh, actually pretty good. Uh, that's good because we can also combo that with the, the cross thing. Let's like, equip all of these trinkets, by the way. There we go. Uh, is there anything that we don't want? Anything that we have like too many of or something? Uh, this Abomination Pad. The Protective Padlock is really good. Um, this, the fucking evasion incense is also real, real good. Um, I don't know. I mean, we have two protective padlocks. They're worth 600 each. I don't think we need the money. Let's just hold on to it for right now. We still have space to hold trinkets. Uh, the nomad woman, we can afford the number of trinkets available. It's only a thousand. Yeah, we'll buy that. Why not? Lucky charm. The simplest object. It's only a thousand is my qualification there. Uh, we don't need any more Vestals. Let's sort by class. Let's take a look and see what we got. You know, a second Vestal probably wouldn't be a bad idea. What do you got? Direct heal, hand of the fist. Or fist of light, whatever, hand of light. I like fist of lights better. Uh, Clotter, wield scavenger, weak grip, torn rotator. Ruins adventurer is really good, actually. Beast slayer is also really good. We can correct the fact that she has, like, the bad abilities. Let's take you. That's good. Pious and unrelenting. That's not bad. Right. Here is barracks. I don't think we need to make that bigger. Uh, let's take a look at the guild real quick. Nope. Is there anything that we still requires us? What do we need to do to get experienced, experienced characters? Instructory, Mastery level 2, Weaponsmith level 2, Armorsmith level 2. Okay, so they're all at 1, not at 0. Ah, I see. I see, I see, I see. Okay. Yeah, so that's level 2 for this, but we need, like, a shit ton more crests and busts. And then for here, yeah, we need tons of portraits and portraits and deeds. Which, you know, that's a, that's a thing. But we'll worry about that on the next episode. So for now, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys like what you saw, let me know. Uh, if you guys want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date on when I post more videos. And if you really like what you saw, leave a like. Helps the channel grow. Helps me out a great deal. But of course, with that, thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!